Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about camera bags, and indeed, a camera bag for pretty much every occasion. Now, all of these come from Think Tank Photo. I've actually reviewed their bags for many years, and I'm always impressed with the styling, the actual thought process that goes into all of the various pockets on the bags, and indeed, the overall quality. Now, the first one I want to show you is probably the smallest bag in their range, and it isn't exactly a bag. It's called the SD card again, and it's part of their Mindshift range. And this is an SD card holder, but it's very, very tiny and compact. It's actually got some sort of Velcro attachments to keep it closed. And in here, you can see you've quite simply got these pockets, six in total for SD cards. And something like this, where you can just organize your cards, roll it up into a nice compact package, and put it into your pocket or into one of the bags, is very, very useful indeed. I highly recommend an SD card holder to pretty much everyone who's into photography or indeed videography, and this one is well worth checking out. Now next up, I wanna show you another bag that isn't exactly a bag, and then I promise I'll get onto all of these other ones surrounding me, and it's this one here. Now this is their Lens Changer 25 version two. Now it's important if you've got an interchangeable lens camera, something like the Canon 80D for example, and you're gonna find yourself swapping out lenses for different focal lengths, then it's well worth picking up something to keep that lens that you take off of the camera. This is really nicely padded. It's got a drawstring at the top. It's also got little attachment, so you can in fact put this onto bags, uh, maybe you can attach it to a loop on a rucksack, for example, and it's got these neoprene pockets on the front. If you look inside, you've got plenty of room for your lens inside. And there's also this zip at the bottom, so you can get a little waterproof cover out of the bottom as well. So if it did rain, then you can put that over the whole sort of pouch. So this is the Lens Changer 25, and again, it is available in different sizes. So if you've got bigger lenses, you can go for the next one up in the range. Now, I wanna show you something that isn't camera related, and then I'll move on to the camera bags, and that is this one here. Now this is called the My Second Brain. This is the 11 inch version, so this is perfectly capable of holding an 11 inch MacBook Air, and it's just a really nice compact pouch. On the front, we have got a pocket where we can store various things including a little iPad pocket on the front here. We've also got some organisational pieces here for putting things like notepads, pens, accessories. And then we have got this main compartment. I'll just get into this main one. Da, 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 da. I absolutely love this. And you can see in here we've got even more room. We've got zipped pockets on the flap that comes down. We've got pockets on the back, including these sort of netting pockets. And then if we open up the very back portion, we've got the pouch for your laptop, or Ultrabook in this case, and a carry strap. There's two little sort of hooks on the bag, so you can put a shoulder strap on here as well. And I've had this loaded up with an iPad Air 2 and an 11-inch MacBook Air, and it accommodates them both very, very comfortably indeed. A really great little bag. This is the My Second Brain. So now I'm going to move on to camera bags. And I'm going to save these till a little bit later on. But the first thing I want to show you is this. This is called the Multi Mount 10. And again, this is available in different sizes. And the idea behind this bag is that you can actually load into this either a, an interchangeable lens camera, like a mirrorless camera, or maybe Micro Four Thirds, or a DSLR and you can keep the lens on. And I used this on my recent trip to the zoo. You might have seen some photos from that. And if I open this up, we've got the main compartment where you can put the camera. I'm not sure if my Canon will fit in here, but this is the ATD, and it does. It just fits in there. So that's the ATD with an, I think it's a 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there. We've also got this flap that comes down to protect the screen. And I found this very handy because you can put that over the screen and then you can fold up your camera strap and keep that in the bag as well. Zip it all up 
and you know that that camera strap isn't going to actually scratch the screen because you've got that protective layer in between. So that is very, very useful. Little carrying handle on the top. I've got the shoulder strap attached. I used this for a whole day and it was very, very comfortable and very useful. We've also got extra pockets on the front. So we've got some organizational pockets there for things like memory cards, uh, batteries, etc. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I probably shouldn't have done this, but when I went to the zoo, I had my, I think I took the Sony A6300, which is a little bit smaller than the Canon, and the little strap folded up on top, and then I fitted a bagel in the top section as well, so I had a snack to eat whilst I was going around. And it just worked really well, because I could keep my lens attached. Let me just take this out again. So a very, very capable bag, and as you saw there, it accommodates the Canon 80D with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Now this particular one is the multi-mount 10, and there's also larger ones in the range. This is the multi-mount 20, so this is the next size up. Let me just close this one up, and I'll show you them side by side. So this is gonna accommodate a DSLR with a larger lens on, but all the same sort of pockets, all the same features, just in two different sizes. And I think there's another size up again. So multi-mount 10 and the multi-mount 20. Very, very cool uh, sort of carry cases. Now also included with the multi-mount bags I just showed you, you get some additional straps. You also get some little additional dividers which go inside the bag and attach with these little Velcro hooks. And you also get a multi-mount rain cover in a little tiny pouch. So this will cover the complete bag and make it rainproof. So now we're gonna move on to a couple of larger bags. This one here is the first light 20 liter camera backpack. This is superbly built. It accommodates a 15 inch laptop. On the back, this is what I love about this bag. Look at this. It's really well designed and very, very comfortable. We've got super amount of padding on the shoulder straps and some really nice padding on the back section of the bag. And the reason this is really nice, and I love the fact it's perforated, is not only does it cushion your back from a heavy load inside the backpack, but because of the perforations, you don't sweat too much as well. Now, on the side, we've also got pockets, we've also got extra loops, you could attach something like a tripod, and if we come round to the front, let me show you these pockets. We've got a side pocket here for accessories, this is very useful. We've also got another zip pocket here that would easily accommodate an Ultrabook or perhaps an iPad. And then we've got the main section of the bag. Now these zips go all the way down so you get nice easy access. And this is organized with all of these sections inside the bag. So you can really organize your kit in here. It makes for a nice rigid bag as well. So very, very strong, very durable and you can fit massive lenses in here, a body, three, four, five lenses probably, and accessories. Now, if I just show you the inside of this flap, we've also got one, two, three additional netted pockets. They're all zippered as well, and these are ideal for things like cleaning cloths, maybe filters, memory cards, uh, extra batteries, so a really, big amount of organization in here. There's also a rain cover as well included with this one. So this is well worth checking out. This is the first light 20 liter backpack. So moving on, let me show you another backpack just over here. This is the last backpack I'm gonna show you. This is the ultralight dual 25 liter backpack. Now this isn't as structured as the previous one I showed you. But if we look around the back, slightly less padding, because we're going for a lighter backpack here. Still really nice, comfortable uh, shoulder straps and still the perforated material as well. So that really does aid with sort of wicking away any sweat. We've also got this pouch on the top, and this is a really useful zippered pouch. It's sort of got a wax lining in it as well. So that's great for if you want to put something like a, a lightweight coat or rain jacket in that top section. So if you get caught out, you've got something to actually protect yourself. Now on the front here, it's a slightly different design. If we look down the bottom here, we've got some 
uh, organizational piece here for a tripod. We've also got some loops down the bottom of the bag as well. We've also got this pocket just here. Let me just open this up. And this zips all the way round and gives you easy access. And it's double zippered as well. And this gives you easy access into the bottom compartment of the bag. So this bottom compartment is where you'd store your DSLR with the lens attached. And then you don't have to open the whole bag to get into the inside. You can just open this bottom compartment for easy access to your camera. And then we can, of course, unclip these like so. We can open this up. We've got a drawstring pouch top on here so this is drawstring and we've got all of this capacity in this top section to store extra accessories uh, this is sort of what i would say is a multi-use backpack because i would use the bottom section for my camera gear the top section for the stuff that i want to make me comfortable so maybe an extra layer of clothing extra accessories torch etc so if i was going out for a hike camera gear and supplies in the top so really nice combination backpack. This is the Ultralight Jewel. And the Jewel in the product name really gives the use away. It's a dual purpose camera and activity backpack. So now let's take a look at these two bags over here, which I was saving till last. And the reason I save these till last is because I like camera bags that don't look like camera bags, if that makes sense. I think it's very important nowadays that if you're traveling with expensive camera gear, if you can go under the radar, then very, very good indeed. It means that you've got something that looks stylish as well. And the first one I wanna show you is the Retrospective Leather Series. This is a really nice combination of like a canvas, very nice sort of oatmeal type color. And then we've got leather, a really nice brown leather. Let's do the sniff test. Ah, that smells really nice. Very, very nice grained leather on the front here. Now, if we open this up, we have got a Velcro closure on this, but you can actually use these sound silencers. So you can sort of open this up like so, put it over the Velcro at the top, and then it becomes a silent bag. So that's really cool. So you can have it either with the extra security or if you're using your camera gear in a quieter environment, you wanna cover that up so you're not disturbing everyone. We've also got a little pouch here for some ID. And then if we go further down into the bag, you've got a really nice leather sort of topped uh, shoulder padding here. And it's got this grippy material on the underneath. Now this grippy material, I don't know if you remember, but I can rem remember when I was younger, I got given these slipper socks and the slipper socks had the, all these little grippy bits underneath so you didn't slip and slide around on the floor. This is a similar sort of material used on the bottom here. And then if we look at the inside of the bag, we have got some organisational dividers in the main compartment. We've also got another little Velcro piece here. And when we open this up, we've got organisational pockets in the inside of the bag for things like memory cards and accessories. And then that can obviously close and keep those nice and secure. Then if we go round onto the back, so many pockets. Just open this one up, there we go. So if we go round onto the back of the bag, we've got another pouch there. So maybe if you wanna carry some filters in there, that would be suitable for filters. And then if we go back round onto the front, we've got another sort of Velcro part here. And when we open this up, we've got the rain cover and also an additional pouch. So if you did get caught out and about in the rain again, you can take the rain pouch out, cover the whole bag up completely. Now this looks really very, very stylish. I love the design on this one. The combination of the leather and the sort of, uh, sort of oatmeal type color on here is very, very nice indeed. It's also got the Think Tank branding on the little leather patch on the back and an additional little carry handle as well with a little piece of leather on the top. So this is really very, very nice indeed. I absolutely love it. Now, last but not least, we have got another really cool camera bag, and this is very, very special. This is Lily Dean, or Lily Deanne. This is part of the Lucido range from Think Tank Photo, and I think this is a very cool camera bag. And the reason I like this is because I like it a lot. It's gonna accommodate my Leica Q. 
So this is more upmarket, very, very nicely constructed. My Leica Q is gonna sort of live in this bag when I'm carrying it around. And let me show you the bag. So we've got a very similar sort of design to the previous one I showed you. You've got this sort of uh, grippy material on the shoulder strap, and then a combination of canvas and leather sort of uh, around the edges. That's really nice. The actual main bag, again, is a combination of canvas, and then we've got black leather across this central section. Think Tank branding on the front here. Round on the back, it says Lily, Diane, and the Lucido branding. There's also a little swing tag on the side, nice touch. Let's concentrate on the back, first of all. So we've got this cyan colored contrast stitching on the back of the bag, which I think looks really nice. We've got an extra, so this isn't a pocket, this is so that you can put it uh, onto a pull-along suitcase, for example, so you can slip it on to the handle. And then just behind that, you have got a pocket. This isn't secured in any way, so I wouldn't be putting any valuables in there but it is an additional pocket. Uh, then if I go around onto the sides, you can see that the, the strap isn't one of these clip-on straps, it's actually integrated into the bag, so that's really nice and secure. We've got pop studs here, which you can undo, which give you even bigger access to the pockets on the side, or you can keep them clipped up for just small, shallow pockets. And that's the same on the other side as well. And then you've got the main flap, which is magnetized, and then when we open up this, you've got the extra security of zips. I'll show you the main compartment in a minute. But we've got a zipper across the front. So this gives us this really nice soft lined uh, front pocket with the nice striking blue color. I love it. We've also got another magnetic flap with another pocket. And this again is lined in the cyan. And this is where you've got all of the organizational bits for memory cards and accessories. So that's really nice. Also, contrasting stitching around the magnets. Very, very nice attention to detail. And then we've got the main compartment. So two zippers pull out either side. And then inside here, just look at this. Bright blue. I just love this bag. And we've got a rain cover, again, in a bright blue pouch. The actual rain cover is black inside. So at least you're not going to be drawing too much attention to yourself. If it was actually cyan, I think that would have been a design failure there, but they've done it in black. And we've got these sort of uh, Velcro dividers in here as well. And also, I'm not sure if I can show you this very easily on camera, there is another zippered pocket inside. And then at the back, we have got a pouch at the back or, or a little slip area at the back there, which will accommodate an iPad mini. So as I say, this is going to accommodate my Leica Q and the accessories as I travel around. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Very nice quality leather, nice grain to it. I just love the design on this one. So this is the Lily Diane Lucido uh, camera bag from Think Tank Photo. So we've got plenty of different bags there, plenty of different sizes, different options. If you're carrying your camera gear around, carry it safely, keep it in sight at all times, and hopefully I've shown you something today that will be suitable for your photography or indeed videography as well. I'll leave links to where you can check these out in the video description. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon in another one on the Geek and Noise channel.